Okay, so we're going to go through the assembling of two of the 1206 boards, the adapters, and um, you can see a timestamp there, but I've speeded it up so you don't lose your sanity. So the first one is using solder paste. So I've just smeared all the pads there with solder paste. Now I'm pulling out um, two 560k uh, ohm resistors, uh, two 1k ohm resistors, and two 10k ohm res uh, K resistors, and two one uh, microfarad capacitors on the end. And then just use the um, the hot air gun to um, to solder those on. Now I'm just doing the headers pins. So we're about 10 minutes in. So pretty quick to do it that way. I'm just doing a bit of cleanup to satisfy my OCD. Right now, the second one I've just put in some um, solder on one of the pads, and now I'm putting in four 560 ohm resistors. And here are some 1206 uh, LEDs, uh, four different colors. And then I'm just putting those in as well. I just orientate them so that the VCC comes into the um, resistor, goes through a bridge, which I'll construct when I put the headers on. And, uh, and out to ground. So that's just putting the headers in now. I'm just taking a couple of header pins out and halving them, and that will be the bridge. Which completes the circuit. So you can see them there building up on one side. So that's pretty quick as well. So I'm just testing here with, I think that was uh, three volts. I'm now jumping up to nine volts. Yep, all those work fine. I'm just going to test the uh, resistors as well. So yep, those all work fine. Okay, so back on the test bench, this is a 555 timer. So I've just got power coming in. It's going off to the 555 timer and then coming back through one of those little circuits which has got the resistor, uh, 560 ohms, and a, in this case a red LED. Now, if you want to construct some other circuits, this is a circuit for a low pass filter. So where R is 1K and uh, C is 1 microfarad, should give us a cutoff frequency of about 160 odd hertz. This is 100 hertz and we can see quite a nice big sine wave there. So I'm just going to wind up the um, frequency, 110, 130, 150 you should start to see now that it actually is um, filtering. So you can see that signal drop off as we go higher and higher until we get around the 1 kilohertz mark and yeah, not much there now. So I just wind it back and you should see the signal appear as the uh, the filter effect dissipates. Yeah, you can see the signal come back now to there it is 100 hertz, and that's the circuit working.